Welcome to this elevator pitch regarding Reactive PKPD, an R Shiny application simplifying the PKPD re review process. My name is Christopher, and I've made this app in collaboration with my colleague, Stefan Falgren. We both work at Nordisk. So first of all, a disclaimer. Views and opinions expressed are those of the speaker and not necessarily Novo Nordisk. So what is the idea behind this app? Well, for clinical pharmacology trials, PK and PD data is reviewed due to the limitations related to the uh, procedures used to assess PK and PD. Previously, a review was conducted by first creating a document containing the plots of the individual PK and PD profiles. Each reviewer then received a copy in which they wrote their own comments. After that, a review meeting was held to share and evaluate comments. And from there, some meeting minutes were created manually. The decision mentioned in these meeting minutes were then implemented in data. So this was a quite tedious process, which we have tried to simplify. So how does it work? This slides explain how a review is conducted uh, in the application. So first of all, the host of the review uploads some data to the tool, and then Reactive PKPD automatically generates the figures of the individual PKPD profiles. Then the review can start, and the reviewer can add the comments to the figures. And once the the uh, a comment has been added, it is instantly shared with the other reviewers. Once the uh, review has been conducted, a review meeting is held. And after that, the host of the review uh, can download some meeting minutes based on the comments that has been added in the tool. Furthermore, the host uh, is able to, to download a CSV file containing all the comments that has been added in, in the app. Uh, this CSV file can then be used to directly implement the comments and decision uh, into the data sets. How does it look? This is the main PK display in the application. And let's have a closer look at some of the elements that you see here. So in the red box, you see two figures. The left one is the PK profile in a, a original scale, whereas the right one is in a logarithmic scale. Below these figures, you can see a yellow box uh, this contains the review comments uh, for the specific uh, and currently selected PK profile. And let's have a closer look at the figures and some of the features in here. So select and zoom. It's possible to select points in the figures by either double clicking or by marking an area and then click within it. Then the selected points will be enlarged. It's also possible to deselect the points again by double clicking elsewhere in the plot. It's also possible to zoom by uh, marking an area and then double click within it. And yeah, you can zoom out by double clicking elsewhere, like deselecting the points. So this was some of the features related to the figures. Let's go back to the main PK display and have a look at, at some of the features that you see in the green box to the left. Here I've highlighted the three features here. The first one is the select profile, which is a drop-down menu used to indicate the currently selected profile, but also to swap between uh, individual profiles. Below that, you can see a blue button, the add comment button. Once this is pressed, um, a window will show up and the reviewer can fill in their comments uh, related either to data points or the whole profiles itself. And once the reviewer has uh, finished the review of the specific profile, they can press this profile review button, green button. And by pressing this, they'll be uh, taken directly to the next profile in line. And furthermore, the app will keep track of their review progress. So these uh, are the main three features that the reviewers would focus uh, on when they conduct a review in the tool. So it is uh, a lot of the, uh, the procedures related to the PK uh, and PD uh, review process. That was all I had. So thank you for your attention. And you can find more on the GitHub link below.